Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Uh, in this tutorial, uh, I'm going to show you how we can import a CSV file into to Python and make our plot with the data we loaded. Uh, first of all, let's download some data. I am going to use the Yahoo Finance and let's download data from, from Google Stock. Just go into historical data, select the period, I'm going to, to download the data from the last five years, apply and download. The data that I just downloaded, I put it in the same file as the my python script let's open it and we can see the data so typically let's import our libraries import matplotlib uh, dot pyplot splt import pandas spd, the pandas we are going to use to load the data into python and for now that's it let's create our main function def main return main The first thing we need to do is to load the data into a variable. To do that, we can we write the name of the variable and we write spd dot read csv file read csv and the name of the file. The name is google dot csv. Let's create our figure as the last tutorial that the link is on the description where you can find uh, how to create your first plot in, Matpl in matplotlib okay now what we should do is to transform the, da the data type that we have in the first column of our CSV file into a date type. Uh, in this way we can work with this in matplotlib. So I will, I will write stock date that is the, first, the name of the first column of our data and transform it to date, to date time and what we are going to transform to date time is this is the same column so I just copy and paste and finally we can plot our chart stock in the x we are going to write the date and in the y axis we are going to to plot the close price of the file stock close then plt.2 let's see if it's working It's working just fine. As we can see, we have the last five years of the Google stock price. And how we can customize this figure. And now let's see how we can customize our plot and to change its appearance. The first thing we are going to do now is to change the figure size of our plot. To do that, we can access 
appropriate colored fig size inside the figure class Oops. and just uh, give uh, two parameters uh, that these parameters are in inches the size of the image let's write 5 and 8 Uh, sorry, eight and five to get the a good proportion. And if we want the size in centimeters, we can just convert it to centimeter. One inch is two dot five four centimeters. Now we can multiply our value by centimeters and see centimeters are small so we get a smaller figure we can triple it okay and that's just fine perfect to change the colors of our plot we have seen in the last tutorial that we can write for instance R for red or B for blue but in fact there is a lot of colors that we can find in the matchplotlib website and to this figure I will, will write royal blue or lim for instance to green let's go back to the red also we can change the line style assessing the pros the property line style line style solid to a, a solid color that is the default color but we can also write for instance dashed so we have a dashed line now as you can see but let's keep it solid also we can change the marker marker add a marker a small circle Uh, the circle is too big let's access another property that this property is the marker size and we give the size a 2 or 1 ok in fact I, I do not want this this marker it's better without it if you look on the x axis you see that our tickers is in years but i do not want uh, our ticker to be in years i want our ticker to be in months so to do that i will import uh, from matchplotlib dot dates we are going to import the matplotlib we are going to import the month locator I think that's enough and to add the locator we can simple type x Xs dot set major locator month locator uh, there are two too much months and it's impossible to see the date. I think I will do not keep uh, all the months, I will only keep the the quarters 
To do that, we create a list inside the month locator and put the numbers of our quarter that we want. These numbers are 1, 4, 7, and 10. Now it's better, but if we rotate the ticker in the X line, we can see even better. To rotate it, we can simple type AX tick params axis x and rotation 30 degrees too much better now we can see it perfectly and in addition we can we can add a type layout to do that plt type layout and our figure is complete Another thing I want to show you guys is that we can add a latex code onto our labels and title. If you do not know, latex is a language that we can write uh, mathematical equations into, into computers. I just added a title, a X label and a Y label and let's see if we can write latex in one of them. To write a latex uh, equation you can simply write two dollar signs and write the equation inside it. For instance, a square root of X squared. And as you can see, date square root of x square in, in the mathematical symbology. And finally, the, the last thing I want to show you in this tutorial is how to save your figure. To do that, you can type plt save fig in the address that you want to save it. I will simply write uh, my figure. And run the code. After I close the figure, I can see that the, the my program just created a figure on the same file that my my script is. Thank you guys for watching the second Matplotlib tutorial, and please share this video with your friends and people you like and people you dislike too. Give, give a like on this video and subscribe. Thank you.